Hmm. Yes, a warning for parents with daughters who play soccer or basketball. Girls are five times more likely to suffer ACL injuries. Now, these are the sports where they're more likely to tear their ligament. Health reporter Hayley Hernandez is here with uh, some ways to eliminate those risks. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, guys. So women are always more likely to suffer ACL injuries, but the risk skyrockets after puberty. And while girls are young and active, there are specific exercises that should be routine to protect their knees. Push hard, push Shania hard, Mitchell hard, is a push, Texas push, Southern push, basketball push. player and Alexia Ladipo is a TSU soccer player. Both had surgery for an ACL tear in November within a day of each other. And when I jumped up and came down, it's like my knee went one way and my body went the other way. For Shania, this is the second time around with a torn ACL. I said, now goes Fraser. The ligament inside the knee provides stability and prevents your leg from buckling. Memorial Herman says girls are five times more likely to suffer a torn ACL than boys. Shania says at least half of the female athletes she knows have had the same injury. Something right. Like no dudes. I ain't seen a lot of dudes today. ACL, but girls like at our school right now, it's a lot of girls going through ACL tears. Physical therapist Chris Juno with Memorial Hermann Ironman Sports Medicine Institute says this kind of specialized training can drastically reduce the risk of ACL injury. Lower body strengthening um, and then movement conditioning and so um, the strengthening side of things is typically associated with your quad which is the the muscle in the front of your thigh and your hamstrings um, along with your glute muscles. That's why Christopher Slocum strength and conditioning coach is teaching Alexia and Shania to properly jump squat and land. And good, perfect, great job, great job. Lengthy warm-ups, acute resistance, and strength training should do the trick to get these athletes back to their sports. And once they're back, they swear to take conditioning a lot more seriously, starting with warm-ups and stretches. I go in the training room, get some heat, get rubbed down with some icy hot, go do my own little stretches, and then I go out and stretch with the team. And both of those ladies plan to return to their sports at least by midseason. The biggest takeaway for all women is the need for strength training, primarily in the quads, mm. glutes, and hamstrings, so those muscles can better support the knee. Now, this can be done with weight training at the gym. Yoga can also provide some strength, but mostly flexibility with yoga. And sports that involve cutting and explosive movements do put you at more risk for damaging the ACL. Absolutely. And you said years of dance. I tell you what, yes, dance for years and then finally popped at snow skiing. But I tell you, that is the most oh, grueling man. rehab. Yeah. I feel for those girls. It's tough. Yeah, the, their description of it, my knee went one way, my body went the other. Yep. I was like, ooh, yeah. that's how it I was. don't want to feel that. <laughs> I had one leg up the hill, but the rest ooh. of my body was going down. But I did get taken down by ski patrol, so that's always a bonus. <laughs> there you go. You look on the bright side. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But strengthening is the way to at least try to help prevent it. Yeah, exactly. It. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Haley. Haley, Thank we you. appreciate it. Right, stretch, stretch, stretch. You got to stretch. Forgets. And That's no explosive sports it. after 40. Yeah. We learned that the hard way with my family.